what is your full potential or what could it be? Mm. I believe this is important for everyone to realize. Like um, we're thinking that the full potential is really just realizing yourself. But I believe that the full potential is realizing yourself amidst other living beings around you. So, you know, um, the reason why so many people actually get what I have or, you know, other mood disorders, anxieties and whatnot is because we weren't supposed to actually live our lives just thinking about our own individual path. We're supposed to think about our path amidst other paths with us and how we're supposed to live our lives like as a community, as, as people who are stewards of a planet that has millions of amazing life forms, you know? So I think that's what full potential is, is just knowing that it's not just about you. You're here in this planet for a reason because you're supposed to be part of it and you're supposed to create something beautiful with it. So, yeah. So how do you see yourself right now into that? Well, hopefully I am creating something that is a world. In a, in a way, our house is a world that houses other animals that can touch other families. Yeah. You know, when we, when we have an adoption, seeing the last adoption, the, the last successful adoption that we had, when after their first week trial, they told us, yes, we're going to adopt him. We don't know what we did before we met him. <laughs> that is the kind of thing like, oh, wow, okay, this is the full potential. This is what I'm doing. This is the reason you why I'm doing it. can change other people's lives. Yes. And touch. Like, yeah. like, that was so amazing because this little dude, this little black dude was just some dog. <laughs> That's great. So what do you do on a day-to-day -day or like... If you understand what full potential means and what your role in this world is, how do you go about it day by day to achieve that? Okay, so North Star. That's always what I tell my partner. That's always what I tell people like, you cannot guess what the world will have in store for you. Mm -hmm. You cannot know what kind of shit or what kind of luck that they'll give you. But if you have your North Star, you'll be able to guess that the things, the tasks that you need to do day by day should be going towards that goal and not anywhere else. How do I go about my day to day? I just think about my North Star and then say like, okay, this is going to help um, adopt out more dogs, for example, or this is going to help with the marketing of the restaurant. Because then in the next few months, if I focus on taking the shots for these, in the next few months, we'll be having more people appreciating this. So just that North Star and having, um, having a list of things that I need to do every day, even though I don't get to do them, just the fact that I'm going to write them mm -hmm. helps me like figure out, okay, it's not as important. <laughs> I'll do you tomorrow, right? Like just, just having that list for yourself is really helpful, at least for me. Mm -hmm. And that gives me like, you know, um, that gives me perspective. For example, if I feel like I really, really need to rest and then there's this task and then I weigh it against my North Star and then I have to decide then if I, if my rest is better or if I can do this and then rest. Yeah. But yeah, you have to think in the long run, right? Yeah. Like um, still, like everything, every little thing you do today actually adds up to tomorrow.